Hi and welcome to Brixhibition. Do you love your Lego? You better follow me. So I've got Ken here, he's one of the organisers of Brixhibition here in Launceston and what an amazing thing we have behind us. It's one of the state's icons, so to speak, the spirit of Tasmania. Welcome Ken, how are you? Good, 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 thank you. So how many bricks are in this? Um, I don't know exactly, but I estimate about 10,000 About 10,000. Yes. You were lucky enough to get hold of the actual diagrams from, from the people at TT line to actually design it so it was perfect. Just about, anyway. Yes, yes, I was. Actually, one of our club members actually works for TT Alive. Oh, that's handy. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, and yes, I was lucky enough to, to, to get the dimensions and schematics from themselves to try and make it as accurate as possible. So you're a hardcore Lego enthusiast? Uh, I suppose it could be called that. So besides your great creation here, what's the best one you've seen? Uh, to date? To date, um, there's a, a really impressive model of done by an artist, yes. um, not, not to say a Lego artist, but an artist, and there's a, 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 a torso of a man pulling his chest open, yeah. and all these Lego bricks falling. How good and is that? That was pretty cool. Thank you very much, Ken, for your time today. Hey, Rose, thank you very much. And what a fantastic display of the spirit of Tasmania. So here at Brixhibition we've got uh, Dale, he's a Brixhibition enthusiast. Now Dale, how did it all start for you? The uh, love of Lego. The love of Lego? No, uh, well I collect fire brigade uh, items and yes. my wife brought me a fire engine for my birthday. Yes. And I said don't do it because I'll never stop. Probably three years later I'm uh, still going strong and nearly got every fire related Lego that uh, there was ever built. So you try and buy every red Lego block there is available? I love <laughs> red Lego blocks. That's great isn't yeah. it? How much would you have spent on this display? Uh, my fire engine display probably would be five thousand dollars or more. Five thousand dollars, my and, that, and that's, that's not that's not a lot. No, it isn't. No, <laughs> compared to some of them. Yeah, so. and don't you love the fact that uh, technology these days is still keeping hold of an old tradition. That I is. noticed um, somebody had an iPad earlier on, and they were controlling some robotics with yeah, it. Yeah, so that, that's um, pretty cool. That is. And you mentioned Minecraft as well. Minecraft is basically. Lego block building, but in a uh, digital format, yep, isn't it? So, it is. yeah, it's really good and really healthy. And I love seeing this basic, family-friendly uh, hobby thing that you can get the whole family involved. I just yep. truly love that. And and it, it does. It brings the whole family together. And yep. uh, as Ken, our president, says, uh, yep. buy a Lego kit, throw away the instructions, and uh, the world's your oyster. You can build whatever you like. And great events like this, of course, people are buying up a storm today, which is great. And the families here, it's absolutely packed here it today. Is, it is packed in the Albert Hall. Now, if you're wondering where we are, as Dale just said, we're in the Albert Hall in Launceston, Northern Tasmania, in Australia. If you ever come over and visit, make sure you put this exhibition on your calendar. They hold events all around the state. We do. It? Okay, we've managed to grab hold of Thomas here. Now, he's got a brand new project on the go. What have we got here, Thomas? Uh, that's a machine gun. A little machine gun with a laser on the front. How cool is that? So thanks Thomas for joining us today and thank you Dale. No worries. And have lots of fun with okay. your Lego blocks. No worries. So I have Jody here, she's a retailer of Lego. So these days, is it healthy, the sales of Lego? Yes, it because is? Lego is not just for kids. No. A lot of our customers are... Big kids. Big kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I know myself and Case, um, my son's very much into Lego yeah. because it's my excuse to relive my childhood yeah. through him. And it's a break away from the everyday stresses of life. That's what I like about it. It is, and like all things, it is going electronic. Yes, that's We've great. We've got a lot now that are um, running on Lego apps, yep. iPads, which in today's world with the kids, much as we love Lego, yeah. they're electronic, so it's a nice blend of the two of them. So of course with Lego and the modern day Lego comes the educational benefits of it. So what are the benefits of Lego? Well, a lot of it is it's teaching kids how to follow instructions, yes. which leading into school, that is very important, that if you miss step two, you can't do step three and four. Can you teach them to tidy up their room and stuff like that with Lego? That'd be really good. No. No. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and what I do like about Lego, what I've picked up, it'd be really uh, good for kids that have 
uh, or even people that are going through therapy of doing things with their hands, maybe people have got arthritis and things like that. So they need something to keep their hands and fingers moving, and their minds going yes. too, well, even for their elderly. Art itself is a proven therapy recommendation for PTSD, anxiety, depression. Yeah. And you can uh, expand that with the broadness of Lego. You're interacting with many different colourful pieces, yes. which stimulates, different colours stimulate your mind in different ways. So you're getting that feeling through building it. And then you've also got that sense of achievement. At the end of the day, you've built this. So you guys sell so much Lego, how can they get hold of you? Well, we're going to a plus, we're in Launceston, Tasmania, and you can check out the link below and uh, like us on, and follow us on Facebook. So we're talking about Lego getting really technical. It doesn't get any more technical than this. So I've got Ray from Mindstorms Robotics here, and robotics, it's a thing of the future, and you guys are right into it. Tell us a little bit about it. In uh, 1996, yep. LEGO uh, released a kit with a little microcontroller on it. There's uh, three different sensors yep. uh, and a couple of motors and that. And uh, I happened to be spending a lot of time in hospital at that stage. Oh, okay. And went down to Dick Smith and they had a, a, a demonstration of it there. And, I thought, and you right. got absolutely hooked on it. And I thought, well, this is something I can do at home. Yeah. I... So, of course, we like to take it to schools. So, what do schools personally get out of it? Uh, schools get a heck of a lot out of it. Uh, I teach two and a half days a week yeah. uh, and just robotics uh, improve their hand-eye coordination yeah. for starters, uh, their dexterity, the fingers are small and stuff, but also uh, they do the programming side, yeah. so they're learning how to program basically, uh, set up their programs oh, cool. uh, and that, different routines and join it all together. So. so I've got Isaac here from Mindstorms Robotics here. How are you today? Now you're pretty involved in this, what's your favourite part about it? Um, well you get to build robots and program them. So what have you made here? Um, this is the first thing that I made. Yeah? Programmed. That looks pretty cool, so what's it do? That goes around, this goes Yep. Yeah. Oh that's pretty cool. Brady here, how are you? Good. So what have we got here in front of us? So this is a whack-a-mole. Yep. And what to do? Uh, so basically it goes up and you just have to hit it. And what are the little uh, green lights flashing on the top of that little control um, the box? The green thing? lines are just, green lights are just saying what, that it's registering the communication. Wherever it's being hit down. Yeah. I did notice there's a, a robot over there trying to work out a Rubik's Cube on putting it in the right thing. Does it actually ever get it wrong? Yes. Sounds pretty intriguing. Now if somebody wants to get involved in robotics, they thought, oh, this is something I really want to get involved in. How do they get in contact with you guys? Uh, Mindstormsrobots.com. So I just run a, a blog um, yep. of my own. Right, Beats great. pushing a soldering iron. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, well, thank you very much no. for joining us today. Okay. Kirsten, oh. we've had a bit of a problem. What's happened? Oh, no. So I've got Donna here. She is a brick enthusiast. I've got to be careful how I say that, Donna, don't I? Yes. <laughs> Did you actually buy some Lego blocks for your daughter and thought, hang on, I think I'm liking this a little bit more than what my daughter is. And that's where it all started? We all started, she had a box of bricks donated by her cousin, who's yes. older. Yep. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people start like that. I think they do, yeah. So, um, and yeah, she was having a lot of fun building all bits and pieces. We yep. were adding to it. And then a friend said to me, you do know there's a Lego club, don't you? Uh, what have we got here? Oh, this is handy. Candy. <laughs> and Candy's actually robotic and moves by remote control. Uh, candy walks and she growls. Okay, so this is my 50-year-old train and the track that it runs. Yep. Here he comes. Here he comes. Where is he? I've also got a collection of architecture sets, yes. which are, they're really a lot of fun. I have a minion who is not strictly speaking Lego. Yes. So he's up the front being arrested by the Keystone Cops. Oh, okay. I love all these Lego stories. They're great. Well, thanks for your time today. Not a problem. Thank you. Have fun. So, Emerson, what's the favourite part about Lego for you? Because this is an awesome display. Uh, well, it's the uh, putting together and the collecting. Uh, predominantly old 
older stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The new stuff uh, doesn't really do it for me, but uh, finding out the um, the old parts, the old kits, and putting them together as they once were is what sort of draws me in. And how long have you been involved in, in Legos? Uh, with my wife, I uh, something like seven years. I seven years? years. Oh, that's great. And you're part of the club? Quite a more, yes. And you get a lot of satisfaction out of that? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Excellent, thank you. Yes. So I've got April here. She is a volunteer for Brick Exhibition, and she's part of the school competition here today. Tell us all about it. What's involved? This is our school competition for the yep. Northwest and Launceston region. So um, we've had 1,700 entries. Now it's just primary schools. Just isn't primary it? schools yep. under the age of 12. Yep. So this is 37 schools with yes. 1,700 entries, and um, they can win, win a prize. So cash prizes are three hundred dollars. Oh, that's great prize. for the school. Yes. Yep. $200 for second and then $100 for third. Yes. And then we've also got a fourth place trophy and a commended as well. Yep. Um, so the idea of competition is that they build something from scratch. So yes. you're not allowed to use kits. You've got a size restriction. Okay. Um, it's meant to be one base plate, one to two base plates size yep. wise. And uh, pretty much they compete within their school. Yes. Um, and then the school chooses the best or okay, what they that, preferred. So the school submits one they yep. think is the best one? Yep, yep. so they do a school co in-house competition yep. and then it comes along to Brick Exhibition and it's voted best by judges for So each school is represented here and then you go around and pick the best one? Yep. So in your opinion, what do you think is the best one? Uh, to be honest, I actually really like them all. I did notice there is a pyramid over there, there's a kid's yep. bike. Um, yep. And the 3D one, that was pretty impressive. Yep. The standard has definitely changed a little yep. oh, bit. It definitely it's gone has, up over yeah. here. Um, no. I'm very much on the volunteer side, but I yep. like running the events and yep. I really enjoy seeing the kids' faces. That, that yep. is the best part yep. about that's it. That's my, my part. Seeing those yep. little kids' faces light up when they see something moving. <gasps> Look yeah. at that, Mum. There, there, there's, yeah. de there's definitely a lot of touching yeah. and trying not to restrictions on yeah. the hands. Yeah. So I've been coming to this event for probably about five or six years, to it, but I'm absolutely blown away today by the amount of people who have come through the door. Why do you think that is? Well, it's a community event. We put it on for families and we always put it on in the school holidays, which yep. means that that's the best time for families to come in and have a look at our exhibition event. It's for an adult fan of Lego Club. Yep. We open the competition to school entry children yep. so that if they can't come along and display their Lego here because we're adults who display Lego, yep. it means that they have an opportunity to build a creation, take it to school, enter the school competition. And, and it gets them involved with their mums and dads they and, and they their do. aunties and uncles and nans and pops. Absolutely, and because they know the competition's going at school, they know yeah. exhibitions coming up in the school holidays, so they save the date when they come along. And we want people to uh, appreciate that Lego is not just a toy for children, it's a toy for everybody. Yeah, educational. And, it's a, and, educational, and it can be therapy as well. Very therapeutic. In fact, you hear a lot of people say that they do Lego for the reason that yeah. it's very therapeutic. And you get involved. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, you're welcome. All Pleasure. the best with the exhibition. Thank you. So thank you so much guys for having me at your exhibition. It's totally inspired me to go home and put some Lego together. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and press that little bell for instant notifications. Yeah.